get to know her. She says she's an orphan. Since you are her shorty, and um, if anything happens, I know you can foot the bills. And you, um, Dorat, please. Yes. You should trust whoever you are going to stay with first. I'm doing that already. Good. Yes. Hey. So get your bag. Okay. She stays. So she stays, right? Mm. Thank you, ma'am. There's a room behind the parking stall. Hmm? Just clean it up and stay there for now. I will arrange where you will be staying. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you for taking me. Thank you. I'll make you proud, ma. I'll do a very good job for you, ma. Matilda, dear. Thank you, ma. Just feel at home and also feel free, okay? I'll make you proud, ma. Thank you, ma. Dorothy, she's a nice girl. Really? Yes, just trust me on that. I'll get to see that. You will see that. It's alright. <laughs> I'll be leaving for Heartless. Why you be so heartless? Yeah. Oh, hi, love. Oh, you did that too. Wow, you're welcome, my angel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so tell me, how was your day? Mm, my day was hectic. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. Mommy, would you believe that we had to stop at a fast food joint to get food and drinks just because Noel was disturbing me? I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. It's not even up to five minutes we got home now and he's saying that he's hungry again. <laughs> stop. Are you saying that my son can eat in his father's house? I, I, I don't know. Sweetie? Mommy? Lunch is served. Really? Go on, dishes. Oh, really? Yeah. So tell me about the lecture. Mm, the lecture was boring. Mm -hmm. And the lecturers? <laughs> Mom, thank God I went on time. Mom. Would you believe that our lecturer asked the late commas to stay outside? Really? Thank God I got to class on time before he came in. They were outside having their lectures while I was inside having mine. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. You know that I stayed outside and received the lecture. It's alright. Mom. Yes, dear. You didn't make this food, right? Um, no. Aunt Maureen brought a new house up for us. She's the one that made the food. Wow, Mom, a new house right. Mm-hmm. Where is she? She should be at the back washing. I told her to wash the dirty clothes. Wow, I'm coming, Mom. Let me go and see her. Who's that? You will like Food, food, eat, eat. You like the food? Yeah, it's so delicious, Mom. Hmm. Tell me, how was the lectures today? Were you listening or uh, thinking on how to get home to eat food? It was hectic, Mom. But what? Don't worry. I got a lot of cheese for you today. I can't wait to finish. So, Mom, what's, what's the name? The new house here. Matilda. <laughs> That's nice, nice. Really? Yeah. Don't worry, you'll like her. What's your name? Now my name is Matilda. I'll be right back. Make sure they are sparkling clean. Watch out for the armpit areas. 
look out for makeup stains and make sure they are totally removed and clean. I want you to do a very good job. Do you understand me? Good. These clothes are not even dirty. What do you call God? What's your dad? Not the bar. That's why I need them. Tema is fine. She's doing good with her studies, yes. Yes. I really thank God that our children are doing good in the academics. Oh yes, I really thank God for what he has been doing for our family. And he's still doing more. Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> oh honey! You mean we are finally going to have you back? Oh, thank God. I'm happy. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> I missed you too, my darling. Eh, hey, honey, lest I forget. Uh, I'll find a new house help for Dorothy. Oh, yes. If you see this girl, she is well trained, hard working. And they call it beautiful. Yes. Uh, it's okay. Let me allow you rest your nerves then. We will talk later, okay? Take good care of yourself. I love you. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I can't wait to see my husband. Mm. I can't wait. I can't wait, honestly. I hate her! You hate her, you say? I mean, how could you possibly hate someone you just meet for the first time? Mom, do people hate people for no just cause? I get it now. Big says you're pathologically jealous of her because she's prettier than you. Will you shut your mouth? She can never be prettier than my angel. Tell him, Mom. Mm, but that's the truth. She's beautiful. I mean, you know the truth. She's in doubt. And I'm a man, Mom. I know when a lady is beautiful, Mom. And I can attest to it that she's very beautiful. Oh, shut your mouth. What makes you a man? You're still a boy. Besides, I employed her to take care of my household. Oh. Can we change this topic? I, I know, Mom. You, you employed her to do everything in this house. I mean, you, you employed her to eventually do everything in this house. Which includes baiting us. Washing our bum bum. Well, Mom. are you trying to insult your mother? I am not insulting you, Mom. I am just telling you the truth, Mom. Really? Mom. I'm telling you the truth. What? What are you saying? Come, come and sit down. Let me hear you very well. I know what I'm saying, Mom. I, I, 
I think your daughter knows better. Yes, you're jealous of her. You think I don't know. You're jealous of her because she's more prettier than you. That's why you gave her all your, your neat clothes and all this to wash her. God, this is my first day in this house and I'm already experiencing hell. How long is this going to last? Is this what I will be experiencing in this house every day in the hands of mother and daughter? They insult me, abuse me, call me all manner of unprintable names. That girl doesn't want to see me. Indeed. There is a big gap between the rich and the poor. Their words are simply apart. They are two parallel lines that can never meet. But come to think of it, Mommy Thelma and her daughter are very different. They are rich as well, but very nice and accommodating people. They appreciate me a lot. I wish they are the ones I'm staying with. God, will I ever endure this? Oh Lord, save my soul. sleeping. Now go to the kitchen, make breakfast, hmm? after which you tidy the house. Make sure everywhere is tidy. Go to the compound, clean every nook and cranny, then pack the refuge, go down the street, dispose them, come back and make sure you iron everybody's cloth. Am I understood? Now leave. I went to make the house help. And you can't believe it. The stupid girl was sleeping as at the time I got her room. House help? Oh, so sorry, I forgot to tell you. You came back yesterday very late, though. Almost midnight. Okay, so... When did she come and uh, who is she? Maureen, my friend, brought her yesterday. Yeah. And who is she? I don't know, but Maureen said she's an orphan. Poor okay. girl. So, where is she right now? She should be in the kitchen making breakfast.
at this time of the morning, early morning like this, she's making breakfast. What kind of breakfast is she preparing that you have to wake her up this early? Do you want to shout? Rufus, do you want us to start our usual this early? Huh? She is a maid. Her duty is to make sure that everything is ready before my children wake. For heaven's sake, please. Your children? Yes. Okay. So, where are your children as we speak? Sleeping, of course. Sleeping? Your children are sleeping. And you woke up somebody's child at this time of the morning to go and prepare breakfast for your children. Can you see yourself? Rufus, what, 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 what is this? What are you insinuating? What? Do you expect my children to go and make their food when I employ the maid in this house? Do you? Dorothy, I don't have your time. You shouldn't. The breakfast, it will be ready in a jiffy. It will be ready in a jiffy. Don't keep my husband and children waiting. Moron. All right, oh, it's all. Yeah. Come on, will you go back and, and, and finish what you're doing? I can never be your mother. Mother, she is stupid and dirty girl like me. Oh, Have the breakfast as soon as you're done. And don't call me mother again. I can never be a mother to a stupid, dirty girl like you. Unless woman, nobody on this life. This is nice. Wow. Matilda. Sir. This food looks inviting. I'm glad you like it, sir. Madam, I hope you're enjoying it tomorrow. Mm. It's as sumptuous as it looks. Matilda. Sir? I hope you kept some for yourself. What's the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? I want to know. She should eat what we're eating. Of course. For what? Because she's not part of the family. Excuse me? She's just an ordinary house help. Do you expect her to eat what we eat? She's a member of the family now. Excuse me? She's an ordinary maid. She can never be part of this family. Dorothy! What? Why are you filled with so much spite and bitterness? Over what? Over her! Excuse me. Probably one day you will get a seat so that the diner will be complete and ask her to dine with us. Oh, and what is wrong with that? Hello? How dare you speak such nonsense from your mouth? Dorothy! Yes? I've been meaning to ask this. Do. What is wrong with her referring to you as mother? I am not her mother. I can never be mother to an ordinary house help. I'm allergic to poverty. You should know that by now. Look, I've always advised you. Be kind to those you meet on your way up. Because certainly you will meet them on your way down. So, treat everybody nicely, please, for your own good. Thank you, Apostle Rufus Obi, for this beautiful 
money salmon. At least I get to have salmon on the dining table. Allow me to eat this food. Exactly what I intend advising you to do. I am going to eat my food before I go to the office today. Excuse, Excuse me. Quite a skill, but please keep quiet while eating it. I should keep quiet. There's mm. something wrong with you. Nothing. <clears throat> Table manners. Table manners. More. More. You see? Now you are dragging the food. The food prepared by somebody you hate so much. Look at you. You finish yours, you are not eating my own. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's my money. Look. It's my money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this how to feed your wife? Who be that? Welcome. Thank you. Where is Auntie Maureen? She's there inside. Exactly happened. I don't know. From the first day I went to the house, that woman never left me. You were there. You saw how she spoke to me the first day. You even told me to come. Let's go before the child should start walking. I don't know. She hates me and maltreats me at will every time. I don't know. Why? I don't know. I'm not a thief. I've not stolen from her before. I've never disobeyed her. I, I do the washing, the cleaning, everything. I'm even the one that does the cooking, but I don't eat. Okay, yesterday, after serving them, I was in the kitchen eating. When she came, collected my food and poured it on the floor in the kitchen. Ah, Dorothy did? Yes, that's how she treats me. Sometimes she will even pour it on my head. Hey, mommy. Mom, we really need to do something about this. This is so bad. This is so Very bad. This is the height of it all. In fact, I can't take, take this anymore. I can't. Eh? Which woman in her right senses will treat her herself like this? <laughs> well, please, I just want you to act like I. No, 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 no. I'm going to teach her a lesson. Okay. I will deal with her. Ma, please consider me before you, you don't take have any to me. beg me. No. Matilda, Matilda, I need to allow my mom to deal with that woman. She's so wicked. Please, I don't even want you to act as if I told you anything. If you do. She would say that I'm spreading her name, that I'm, I'm making people to see her as a bad person, and she might chase me away. Please, she would throw me away. See, I think her problem is trust. Maybe she has trust issues. And you don't even blame her. I'm a total stranger. She doesn't even know me from anywhere. I, I, I believe, I'm praying for her. I believe she will change. 
Ezioku, I know she will change. Maybe someday she will just realize I'm genuine and nice and she will start treating me well. But please don't even act as if I told you anything. We go. Hmm. It's okay. It's okay oh. if you say so. Sorry. But Sorry. just know it that I am not happy. I'm not happy at all. Sorry. Huh? Drink water, Matilda. Oh. My stomach. Sorry. 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 I'm not eating since yesterday. If I had known, I would have just done dry fasting. Hey. Hey. Hi. God. My stomach is good. Sorry, okay? And you, you, you need food. I. Do we still have food? Yes, mommy. There's still food in the fridge. I'll make food salad for her later. Oh, right. uh, yes, please. Thank you, ma. Thank you. God oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Ah, it's okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. 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 Mm. Hi. Where is this girl? I wonder where this girl is, eh? What is keeping her? Is it not to go to the market and come back? She will be back. Probably she she might have lost her way. What arrant nonsense? What do you mean she lost her way? Is it the first time she's going to that market? Mom, I'm sure she went to sleep with one of her boyfriends. Those motor packed out. Hello. Hey, Matilda. Hey, Matilda. Hi. Where are you returning from? From the market, ma. Which of the markets are you returning from? The one I know or another? Do you know what the time is? It's almost 6 p.m. You know when you left this house? So start talking. Where are you coming back from? Yes, ma. It's the market you. Ma, I told you. You told me what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? My friend, sit down there. Ma, please take it to her. Oh, shut up, Morris. And as for you, must you flex like your worthless mother? You shameless bastard that wants to bring forth another bastard. Olivia, what's your problem? Why are you scolding her? Oh, oh sorry, shut up! No, oh, just look at her. What's that? What? I, I think I see, I see money. What's that? Bring it out, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Oh my God. Mom, this is 5,000 Naira. Where did you get this money from? Somebody gave me. Somebody gave you? Yes. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, till. someone did what? First me the money. Someone dashed you 5,000 Naira? Yes, ma. What did you do for the person? Ma, nothing, no. It's just grace. Hey! Mm. So, you were on your own. Walking and somebody called Matilda. You can take this one. Is that? Ma, somebody dashed me this morning. My friend, stop talking before I, I, I kill you here. Ma, see. Ma, it's grace of God. <laughs> grace? Grace? Hey! Then this is name is Grace, right? No, like I mean, it's because. Grace of God made it a single. Okay, because of grace of Satan, I've not been getting money. Really? And you want me to believe it? Yeah. My friend, get out from this place. Oh, 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 ma, okay, let me tell you the truth. You know, I told you I've not eaten since yesterday. Mm -hmm. So when I, I went out to go and buy stuff in the market, my eyes started turning me. My strength failed me, and I fell on the ground. So when the person came and asked, I, I told the person I'm hungry. So the person now gave me food and money. Really? Mom, this is a cock and bull story. Don't even believe every lie she's spitting. That person must be a good Samaritan. A Father Christmas or Mother Christmas. That's the truth. Oh, someone saw you. So you were in the market. You won't get to fall. So that people will pity you and let them be as a wicked person. <laughs> and what's Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
Money, get me shawarma and the smoothie while seeing Maurice off. An ice cream, too. I didn't say ice cream, I said smoothie. I eat ice cream. Why you be so hard? Thank you. Hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. I thought you said you're coming tomorrow. What happened? Oh, welcome, oh, Dad. You're welcome. Yes. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh my God. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush. This is yours. This. This is yours. <laughs> Emmanuel. Daddy. This is your own. You made a order, huh? Yes. This is yours. And this? And this? Thank you so much, Dad. And this? And this? Oh, this is for Matilda. What? Why? You got this for me, right? And bought. The whole of this bag for Matilda. Dorothy. Yes? You all have enough. That poor girl has nothing. Really? Why are you like this? Why am I like what? Uh, Matilda! Matilda! Yes, my dear. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma. God bless you. You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Ma, thank you for me. Oh, God will bless you. You'll never lie. <laughs> get out. I said you should get out. Go back to the kitchen. Dorothy. What? What is it? What is what? No, oh, why this bitterness and bickering? Sir. Huh? My friend! Shut up, let me finish what I'm saying. Please, don't even have your hand. What is this? You expect me to take that? You should have asked me what you want. Call me on phone, not what I want. Don't, 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 don't bring that bag home. Just return the bag. Give him that bag. I don't need it. What would you get? Get it, take this. What is wrong with your mom? Dad, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with mom. She has the whole world. How can she? Oh God. For a poor girl like Matilda. Anyway. <coughs> Daddy. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you. today because tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh, you don't even know what woman be careful what you do Cause you don't even know You don't even know Proud woman
<laughs> You're smiling. <laughs> My lovely children. I hope you behaved yourselves while I was away. Just that. Okay. Emmanuel. Did you religiously attend your lessons? Just that, of course I do. Mm. Olivia, what of you? Did you take your studies seriously? Yes, Daddy. I trust you. That's great. Um, what of the housemaid, the new housemaid? How are you coping with her? That, that reminds me. Dad. When you traveled, Mom and Olivia, they've been maltreating this girl. Auntie Matilda have been suffering in this house, Dad. That they compare her to do all the house chores in this house. And yet, they starve her. What? But why? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. Dad. Mother and daughter are in a better position to defend themselves. At least you can start with her. Daddy, he's lying. He's lying against Who me. Who is lying? That I'm not lying anything, no. This is unbelievable. That the other day, Auntie Matilda went to the market on an empty stomach. That she fainted on the road. Leave me alone. A good Samaritan saw her on her way and revived her and even gave her some money. What? That when she came back home, Mom and Olivia, they beat her up. Emmanuel, are you sure of what you're saying? That I'm not even done yet. M Mom and Olivia, they collected the money the Good Samaritan gave to her. Olivia! Daddy. Is this true? You're shaking your head! What is this? Dad, I... I don't even know why they hate her so much. They, they, they're just jealous of her, Dad. They just want to kill this poor girl. what that young lady may have said about me in public. They were dating my image, my, my reputation. I provide for everyone. There's enough food for everybody in this house. How come some of you are eating and others are starving? What is this? Why? This is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And where is that woman? Where is Dorothy? How dare you tell that to daddy in front of me? Don't put pepper in your bumper when you're sleeping this night. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Dad! So, you're welcome, my dear. Thank you, Momo. So, tell me. Um, How is Matilda doing? Uh, that reminds me. Have you spoken to your children of recent? Oh, yes. Dorothy. Yes, dear. I just asked you about Matilda and do not pretend as if you didn't hear what I said. Maureen, please, can you not ask me about that thing? Why do you hate her? Yes. What did she do to you? Tell me. Tell me. What happened? Can you? Anyway, let me just go straight. The other day my husband returned from his trip and bought loads of gifts, shoes, clothes, just name it, for her. Can you beat that? Your husband is a nice person. 
Oh yes. He is. I am suspecting them. You are what? You heard me. Oh Dorothy, how can you say such? Huh? You don't have to think like that. Because I know your husband only saw her once. And that was that morning he traveled. <laughs> ah. Dorothy. Sometimes you make me laugh. You behave as if you are an illiterate, which I'm sure you are not. Whatever. Of course, I'm going to collect those and give them to my daughter. You will do no such thing. Ah, I've done it already. <laughs> you are talking as if you've forgotten who I am. Dorothy, tell me. What? What exactly did she do to you? Why do you hate her so much? I ask again. Tell me. You see? You are not saying anything. Meaning you don't have a justifiable reason to hate her. Yes! Why do you hate her? Or what? Eh? They sent you. I know why I'm asking you this. Because no one knows tomorrow, Dorothy. Tomorrow they say is pregnant. I just want to cancel you as a friend. Thank you so much, Mrs. Guidian and Counselor, for your wonderful advice. But please do not patronize me, I don't need it. This is my house and I know how to control it. The other day she went to the market and fainted. And some good Samaritan saw her and fed her after which she gave her 5,000 Naira. So what do you call of it? I collected the 5,000 naira and sent my daughter to go get me shawarma and the smoothie. You did what? Yes, I did. You collected the 5,000 naira someone gave to her. Why would I collect it? Dorothy, you are wicked. Excuse me. You are a wicked woman, yes. You called me wicked because of a common housemaid. Get up and leave. I beg your pardon? Get up and leave my house. Maureen, wait. Calm down. You're too fast. Are you asking me out of your house because of a common house help? Dorothy, I say get up and leave my house. Get out. I don't want to see you here again. Wow. You are very wicked. Just get up and leave my house. Yes. Maybe I will come and take her out of your house. I'm coming to take that girl away. Maureen, do you know you sound funny? You are asking me out of your house because of a common house. You are still wasting time. Leave! I've insulted myself enough by coming here. Which house are you even talking about this? Dorothy. Thank God my husband is richer than yours. Whatever, just oh, get please, out. Please, 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 stop. Get out! Stop! I know it from today that our friendship is over. Get out. As if I please, 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 please. With you. Nonsense. Oh, please. Look at her. So inept, so clumsy. Hey, get down! I don't want to. What if I don't even know what comes next? Oh, you don't even know. What woman? You can't what you do. Cause you don't even know. You don't even know. Where has this stupid man gone to? Huh? I don't know what is wrong with this Zaki. All he does is to eat and eat and eat. He can't even do a simple job. Just to open the gate and close it. I beg of you, God. Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today Cause tomorrow is not sure You don't even know what comes next oh, You don't even know Ooh. Be comfortable, look at me Exo, I will so deal with you that eh? Wait, wait Zaki, come here. I thought you should come here. Oh, hold on. 
Where? Oh no, oh no, Mami What have you been doing? Madam, I've been inside toilet, they cheat. They cheat and they get on this tomorrow, Madam. I won't come out of my car, open gate for you. They think all they come again, I'll run, go back, Madam, I've no verse. Madam, are they inside the toilet? Are they inside the toilet? Are they cheat? I won't make her come. He can't go back. He can't come again. Stupid man. Thank you, Mom. What are you good at? It's not to eat my food. Eh? Why won't you have running stomach when you eat everything you see in this house? I've been at the gate okay for what seems like eternity. I'm oh, sorry. No verse. Try that with me again and see what I will do to you. No verse, I'm My friend, close my gate. Thank you, ma. Skaliwa. Thank you, ma. Nikompo. Thank you, ma. Nonsense, man. Thank you. Imbecile. Thank you, ma. Heartless. Fucking you, ma. Heartless. this woman treating me like this? I haven't done anything wrong to deserve this kind of treatment. God. Ah, this is becoming too much. I don't know how long I'm supposed to take this. It's even better. Let her take the clothes so I can have peace. <sighs> tell me, you won't believe what I'm about to tell you now. Mom, is everything okay? Dorothy told me that her husband came back from his trip to Abuja. Mm -hmm. Got her and her children gifts. And lots of gifts for Matilda. Wow, he's such a nice man. You should have allowed me to finish. She said she's going to collect those gifts from Matilda and give to Olivia. Why? This is shared wickedness. I'm even surprised that you of all people could be friends with that kind of woman. I don't like her. Trust me. I had to ask her out of my house immediately. I told her it is over between us. Mom, you did what? Can you imagine that Matilda told her that she fainted on her way to the market? 
A good Samaritan saw her, gave her food, and dashed her 5,000 naira. Dorothy collected that 5,000 naira from Matilda. What is even wrong with that woman? Is she mad or something? Dorothy <sighs> is devil incarnate. Mommy, this is incredible. This is unheard of. That was why I had to do what I did. <laughs> by asking her out of my house immediately. Mom, you should have talked some sense into her rather than walking her out of the house. You are talking as if you don't know who Dorothy is. Dorothy is one person that doesn't take advice. When I was trying to advise her, she was calling me Mrs. Advisor. Keep your advice to yourself, I don't need it. That was what she told me. So what do you expect me to do then? Mommy, I pray nothing happens to Matilda. Nothing will happen to Matilda. And if anything happens to that girl, I will deal with Dorothy. I've already told her to return that girl back to me if she doesn't need her services anymore. Let's watch and see how it goes. Hi, <laughs> Noel. You, you're very funny. You and I know that's not going to be possible. I'm nothing but a may house help. What time do I have? Eh? I need to go to the market, wash clothes, clean house, do all those things. Your mother will not even allow me to go out. Please, 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 don't even make such suggestion for me. Else you want me to lose my job. Your mother will just kill me and chase me away. See this roof over my head? I appreciate it. Biko. I... I understand what your fear is, but you know I got your back always right. 